Hey, uh, welcome back to Calculus. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use Desmos to graph uh, sequences so you can visualize our work as we're working in the uh, Chapter 11 stuff. I tried to do this in the uh, first part of the 11.1 uh, video, but but uh, I guess the the screen I thought I was sharing wasn't visible. All right, so here we can just make this real quick. Uh, I got a Desmos window open here. If you use Desmos, it looks familiar. And you know, if you if you want a real quick way to visualize a sequence, you can just put it in as a point. So I'm going to type over here n. I'm going to call the variable n, and then maybe I'll just use one of our first examples, one over n. All right, so then uh, Desmos is asking me if, if I want to make n a slider. Yeah, I do. I want to make n a slider. That's a variable. And I want n to be just a whole number here. So I got to click on this and tell it, hey, don't start with negative values. Let's let it go up to something like, say, 30. And if I only want whole numbers, it steps by one. Okay, so I'm telling it what the minimum n is, the maximum n, and how much to step by, step by one. And you can see it drew a little dot. Oops, I zoomed out there on accident. It drew a little dot uh, uh, where my sequence value is. It's in red there. If you want to change the color, you can press and hold on that thing and change it to blue, turn it back on. And now as I move this slider, I'm changing the value of n. And well, you can see the sequence here. n just got to 10. 1 over 10 is the value, and got to 15, and so on. So I think that's a pretty effective demonstration that the sequence is going to zero, yeah? So there you go. Uh, if that's good enough for you, you can, you can ditch this video right now. I personally like to see all the dots in the sequence, though, so I don't really like this uh, one dot at a time graph. So let me show you how you can, just, how you can look at lots of dots. Uh, I'm going to ditch this. I don't want n to be a slider anymore. Um, I'm going to just type that in exactly like I did. But in my next pane, I'm going to tell it that n is a list. And in Desmos, a list is done with a square bracket. You tell it where you want to start. You put some dot, dot, dots, and you tell you where you want to end. I want to end at a variable. I'm going to call it capital N, just to kind of keep everything. And now I want that to be a slider. Okay, same thing. I'm going to start it at one, let it go up to say something like 30, stepping by one. And now, uh, little n is going to take on all the values from 1 to n. So as I move this slider, it's not going to erase the previous dots. All right, that's the plot of the sequence that I think I like to look at. That convinces me that this thing looks like it has um, limit equal to uh, zero. Uh, you can mess around by just sort of zooming with the mouse to change your X and Y windows. If you want to get more precise up here in your wrench, your graph settings, you can tell it precisely what you want X. I want, say, X to go from 0 to 30, uh, uh, and I want Y to go maybe from just 0 to 1 in this example, because that's kind of the interesting part. And then it, if I don't mess with the mouse now, uh, uh, it shows me the kind of part of the sequence that I'm interested in. All right, and you can do this for any sequence. If you want to look at some of our other examples, what did we do? We did, um, say, uh, an n over n plus one, I think was one of the sequences that we looked at. Here, I got to kind of zoom a little bit more to see what's going on. But yeah, I can see that that looks like that sequence has a limit. One more, um, and then I'll kill this video. I think I, I demonstrated what I want, but one of the sequences I was having you guys look at was one plus one over n raised to the n. So it's easy to type that in there into Desmos. Uh, uh, I got to end it, tell it it's a pair. And now, Desmos's parentheses are kind of possessed. I don't see any dots. That's because I'm not looking at a very good part of the screen for this limit. There's one. Okay, and if I look at this thing, yeah, it convinces me that that, oh, and my x scale is kind of horrible here. So again, with my mouse, I can't do that very well. Let me make this say negative one so I can see the side over there. I only wanted that to be 30. Thank you, Desmos. So I don't know what that limit is, but it definitely looks like those sequence points are approaching something. Okay, well, I hope this was a useful video for graphing sequences in Desmos.